guys, welcome to episode quattro of the Hammer Clogs. I am Mike the Hammer K from Order of Tear. So Mike, after last week's episode, how do you intend on one-upping that? Exactly. Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. You have nothing to talk about, do you? I mean, I could talk about my video game consoles, I guess. What?! There isn't anything else for me to talk about! The only thing else I could talk about was the fact that PSN went down this week and now I have to cancel my debit card because somebody in Iran has put it on the black market. Cool story, bro. Alrighty then. Here are all my video game consoles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start at the bottom down here. Um, this is my original Xbox. I got this on launch day. Um, it's... It's modded. I, I don't. It was an Executor 2, I think. I don't even really remember it. <laughs> what's inside of it, other than I. There's a an 80 gig hard drive in it. Um, yeah, just just random random mods like that. On my next shelf up here, I have my my original NES Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, I just replaced the uh, the pins and everything on these. Oh, hey, I was looking for that. <sighs> I just replaced all the, the pins and stuff on the, the inside for the cartridges, so this, it, it works again, so that's that's exciting. Um, this is my Super Nintendo. It Similar to what happened with the uh, the Rob that I own, if you watch the first Hammer Clog, uh, it, this has the, the fire repellent plastic or whatever, so it, it's faded. Um, it's, yeah, this is what it used to be, and this is what it is now. It's kind of grody looking. Um, this is probably my favorite shelf. Uh, my my Sega Saturn. I, I got this for Christmas, uh, the Christmas right after it came out, and I was I was stoked beyond belief about this thing. I, I have probably put more hours on this console than any any other console that I own. Um, I don't remember if I touched on this very much in the uh, the other video, but but th this is my favorite console. Uh, a lot of people would would argue about that. Um, it, it wasn't very, very popular or whatever, but um, you know, I, I had a lot of good times with it. So it's this, this is my my baby right here. And if you if you look, it is the first generation Sega Saturn because it has the the oval uh, power and reset buttons instead of the circular power and reset button. Um, this is my my Sega Dreamcast, another console that I got on launch day. Uh, it's these are all, these are my favorite consoles. Um, Dreamcast was very. Um, my cats are running around somewhere. Sorry. Um, Dreamcast was one of those consoles that was really ahead of its time. Uh, you know, it had like a 56k modem for internet, online multiplayer. Um, I actually had a broadband adapter for it, but um, I ended up selling it when a Sega Net went down and you know I, mean, I couldn't really do anything with it anyway so I actually got about a hundred bucks for the thing so um, that was cool uh, but uh, it, it had a lot of really innovative ideas that went with it and it just it really kind of sucks that it, it didn't uh, get accepted as well as as it should have um, and it really has a humongous cult following nowadays and even tons tons of the, the video game uh, blogging community still talk about how awesome it is and everything um, and for for many of them it is it's, it's still their favorite console my next shelf I have my ps2 uh, I I was a, a late adopter of the ps2 as as with everything Sony really I I ended up getting a ps1 um, a, I think about a year after uh, that Sega said that they were going to discontinue that support for the Dreamcast but I got a PS1 then because they, they that was when they were talking about releasing a bunch of games that they were going to release on Saturn, but they, they ended up uh, scrapping because of um, because of the Dreamcast coming out. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll get Sonic Extreme. Um, <laughs> so I actually bought a, a PlayStation uh, with Mega Man X5. Um, for the, the hope that maybe I would get uh, some some cool Saturn games that, that never never showed up, but uh, and, and never really <laughs> never really happened. But I, I did I did end up getting into into uh, PlayStation games because of that. Um, but anyway, it has a uh, a boot swap um, deal up here. Uh, 
I mean, there's not really much to say about it. It's a, uh, a PS2. <laughs> yeah. Up here, I have my, my Wii right there. I, uh, I got this on launch day. So it's, <laughs> it's funny. I got a lot of these consoles on launch day. It's, it's excellent, by the way. If you've never attended some kind of launch event, uh, to, to go hang out with other video game nerds like yourself, it, it's, it is pretty, it's a pretty sweet experience. Um, and then this is my N64. And like I said in the first video, uh, this isn't my original N64. This is one that I got about a year ago. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm glad I, I finally got to uh, got to replace it. And last but not least, I have my top shelf up here, and this is kind of a, a monstrosity up here. Um, first of all, I'll go ahead and state the obvious: there are uh, there's one controller for each of my consoles up here. Um, got my GameCube, which we. Uh, this is my my PS2 controller, uh, which I don't remember what brand this is. Jordan actually introduced this to me, but it is a wireless PS2 controller. It, it feels exactly like a, a official first party controller, um, but it's much much better than any of the wireless controllers that I've ever seen in any of the stores. And it was uh, thirteen dollars on eBay, so I would. Uh, I would highly recommend that if you're looking for um, some kind of wireless PS2 controller. And I have my uh, Super Nintendo NES controllers. I have my, my Genesis controller. I have my, my Sega Saturn controller. Um, this, is, this is actually one of the, the first generation Sega Saturn controllers. Uh, it, <laughs> yes, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. It, it, something's really cool to me about it is... Um, one of the things that's really cool to me about it is how the uh, the L and R buttons you can actually hit it on top like this, or you know you can like hit the front of it. Um, and I really like the D-pad on these controllers. Uh, I I tend to have a D-pad fetish. It's kind of strange. Sorry. Um, and my Dreamcast controller. And then my my cute VMU in here, and have a uh, I don't remember what they what they ended up calling these. Uh, whatever, a Rumble Pack. Um, Whatever the official Sega name. Oh, it was, it was, oh, it was called a Jump Pack. Excuse me. Um, and then back there, I have my N64 controller. Green. I, I, I had a blue one for my, with mine, but of course it, it got sold along with it. So that was, it's kind of depressing. I kind of want a blue one again, but anyway. So in here in the middle, um, I have my, uh, my Sega Genesis 32X CD. Uh, this is a, a Generation 1 Sega Genesis. Um, I've had this most of my life. Um, and then underneath it I have a Generation 1 Sega CD. And then above that I have my uh, Sega 32X. Story time! Once upon a time, I got a, uh, a Sega CD, the, the Generation 2 Sega CD for Christmas or my birthday or something. I'm not, I'm not quite sure where it came from. <laughs> But anyway, regardless, I got a, a Generation 2 Sega CD, and um, I played with it all night one night. I, uh, I played Sonic CD an entire night, and a little bit of Sewer Shark, because you can't play Sega CD without some Sewer Shark. And so, um, basically at the end of the night, I realized that a, a 1X CD-ROM drive, that is kind of slow, was uh, slow. And so... Um, for some reason, I thought it was a good idea to take it back the next day and replace it with a 32X. Yeah, I still can't quite justify that little decision that I made there. Um, but I ended up getting Knuckles Chaotix, uh-huh, um, and that was the only 32X game I ever really owned and still own to this day. But um, one day my friend found a, uh, a, a Generation 1 Sega CD out behind a, a Goodwill. His, his dad owned a, a shoe store next to Goodwill. And, um, he gave it to me and it, it didn't work. So I had to take it apart and replace a fuse and I cleaned all the electronics and some stuff. And voila! Brand new. Um, I did have to order a power adapter for it, which holy moly! If you freaking look behind those things, yeah, that that colossal this thing, it takes a whopping three AC adapters to make this thing work. Is that not insanity? But yeah, it's a pretty sweet part of my collection. 
I like it. I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad I have it, even though they have to turn on the nuclear power downtown every time I turn this thing on. So anyway, yeah, all of uh, all of these consoles are actually miraculously hooked up. Uh, if you if you look down there, there's a, a a crazy cluster of switches, and if you can find the right combination of switches, you can you can actually play any of these. Next to that is my little, my, well not really little, but my Yamaha subwoofer. And then moving on over here, I, um, yes, Hulu Plus just came out for Xbox, uh, by the way. So that, that's pretty awesome, actually. So, uh, between Netflix and Hulu, I have no reason whatsoever to have cable TV. So that's, that's pretty sweet. And if I need to get any of the local channels, I can just use the, uh, the bobby pin that is, uh, <laughs> It's actually plugged into the cable jack on the back of the TV, so I can pick up local channels. Um, FYI, you, you can also use a paperclip. And you can actually pick up HD channels with a paperclip. I know, how crazy is that? Um, but anyway, uh, these, these two clips uh, speakers, the floor standing speakers, were a, pr a Christmas present to myself last year with my Christmas bonus. Uh, they, they sound excellent. I'm, I'm very happy with them. And I have my 42 inch Vizio. Down here, I have my uh, my amplifier for the sound system and everything. And I have my, my PS3. And I have my Xbox 360. That is my entire little entertainment system corner. And that is, that is L sitting next to my computer and my phone and all of my, my little controllers here. And I have a, a universal remote. I have the Bluetooth PS3 remote, uh, Wiimote, PS3, Xbox 360. I actually put um, put uh, PS2 uh, thumbsticks on here, so they're the, I I just like the way they feel better than the um, the Xbox ones. This is a riveting tale. I know. I don't really know how to end this, so um, I'm just gonna kind of stop. So to, back to you. So I guess that'll do it for episode four of the Hammer Clogs. Uh, sorry, it wasn't it wasn't as interesting as some of the past ones. Then again, maybe you were interested. In which case, yeah. If you want to follow me personally on the internet, you can go to my Twitter, Twitter.com/slash/MikeLawsinski. Also, in the next week, I'll be launching a new version of my website. Now that I actually have free time, um, and you can visit me at this location right here yes video magic but yeah I'm, it's a it's, it's basically gonna be a it's a website wrapper that I've created um, surrounding a tumblr feed um, and so it's, it's gonna be kind of a blogish kind of deal and it's also going to have a kind of an archive anything musical that I've done whether that be solo or collaborative or whatever it, it'll all be there <gasps> I'm really dragging this on. Anyway, have a good week, guys. See you next Monday.